Another party will be participating in this meeting. Who might that be? The Queen of Numara. Will that be a problem? It is increasingly likely that our three countries, Gotsa, Ura, and Numara, will go to war. The purpose of this meeting is to find a way to avoid that. I want very much to hear what Queen Ming has to say on this subject. What do you say? Very well then. Bring her in. I'm grateful for your consideration. Thank you. Hey, is the kitchen still open? Please accept my apology for imposing myself upon you in this manner. Your Majesties. Please be seated. Thank you. Queen Ming, this is His Majesty Toten, the King of Ura. Would you please share your concerns with us? Most certainly, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I have important information concerning your royal advisor, Gongora. He belonged to our group of immortals, but now it appears he's created his own agenda to dominate this world. Gongora is an immortal? What he desires is power. Tremendous power. The rumors of attack by Numara, the response the Urans took by building up arms, and the restoration of the Uran monarchy with you on the throne, all are parts of Gongora's grand scheme. Grand Staff is an essential part of Gongora's plan, and it is incredibly dangerous. Your Majesty, we beg you to destroy the staff without delay. Grand Staff will make enormous contributions to Ura's development. I can't simply destroy it. I must agree with King Tolton. The completion of Grand Staff will mean the culmination of all our years of harnessing magic to advance our civilizations. Its loss would be tragic for us all. Your Majesties have surely heard of the catastrophe at the Wool Highlands. I've heard that a meteor fell on the battlefield. Yes, and it was most probably brought down by Gongora. What? And there is no telling when he may strike with a second or third meteor. It is imperative that we stop Gongora and prevent the completion of Grand Staff. I can hardly believe what I'm hearing. And yet, I can't imagine the Queen of Numara would come here to make such absurd claims. You will have our full cooperation, Your Majesty. Our forces stand ready to mobilize in Uro's defense in place of the forces that you have already lost to this new enemy. As to the fallen meteor at the highlands of Wu, if there is a possibility that Gongora... That is indeed involved... dedication to duty. How then should I respond? Should I destroy the mirrors before the other immortals fully regain their memories? Connect me to Tolton. I need to relay some information. Your Majesty, tell the King of Goza that you will hand over the blueprints and essential data on Grandstaff. Announce that you will join forces with him. Information on Grand Staff is being sent to Kent. Dispatch our forces to maintain security there. R right away, Your Majesty. Ah, one more thing. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Ura appears to know something of our relations with Kent. You mean our meetings with Kent before the attack on Ura? Correct. This alliance could be an Uran trap. Take the usual measures and use caution.
My apologies for delaying our meal. This is an auspicious day. Please savor the fine cuisine of Gorza.
Ishtar, let's move. Yes, let's go. That reminds me. We mounted a large-scale operation against piracy the other day. Piracy? Yes. Our local waters have been ravaged by pirates, taking advantage of our recent military weakness following the catastrophe at the Highlands. So I dispatched our remaining forces to mop them up and communicate far and wide that Ura will not be defeated. If your forces can defeat pirates, they should be sufficient for most any requirement. You are too kind. I am particularly proud that we succeeded in capturing the most feared pirate on the seas, Sed. Sed? What is it, Seth? He's alive. My son. Huh? Hey! Don't say anything about this now. We don't want any trouble. You don't have to tell me twice. Now, I am aware that you've selected Kent as the site for the handover of Grand Staff information. I wonder, though, about the security detail. Will they be sufficient? I would gladly dispatch Orin forces to take part as well. Their morale is much higher following their successes against the pirates. I am certain their presence would be helpful. Your concern is appreciated, Your Majesty. The forces already dispatched there, however, are from Goetz's main battle force, the pride of our military. No unwanted visitors will even get close to Kent. May I rest assured that the information will be in good hands once it has been delivered? You may indeed. Every effort will be made, if it means Goetz may also share in this magnificent magic energy. Pardon me for interrupting. But I'm afraid I don't fully understand what your majesties are speaking of. Ah, yes, forgive me. We are speaking of the construction of a second Grand Staff. I still don't understand. We immortals ask that Grand Staff be destroyed. Kaim told us that the purpose of this meeting was to avert war. Indeed. War has been averted. King Tolton and I have come to an agreement, thanks to your majesty's own words. We thank Kaim for introducing it to us. With the information provided by King Tolton, Goetze will build its own grand staff and reap the benefits of the tremendous magic energy that it offers. Our two countries will thus be equal in power. Neither country will have an advantage over the other. Look at this. Love will protect against all. This alliance springs from my love for my people and my efforts to protect them. I trust you will appreciate the significance. This is hypocrisy. We both know what Kaim and Sarah would think if they were to hear you speak this way. I am aware of the contradiction. Regardless, if it will prevent war and bloodshed, I will choose this path and the equivocation that accompanies it. Wait a minute. You're not getting it. This isn't what we were talking about. We told you Grand Staff was dangerous. We never said you should make more of them. What are you, what are you thinking? You can't do this. You're playing right into Gongora's hands. 